depression, sadness, anxiety, things of that nature are not physical pains. They're, they're mental pains, they're emotional pains, they're spiritual pains sometimes, you know? So if you are feeling one of those types of pains, just know that this is Allah's way of forgiving you of your sins. MashaAllah, right? When you think of your depression, your sadness, your anxiety in that manner, don't you want to embrace it a little bit more? I hope so. Here is what you can do to help you cope with your depression and make it a little bit easier for you, inshallah. The messengers also narrated to us that... Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so, so grateful, thankful, and humbled they do, that they, that you decide to spend some of your time here with me today. Living with your depression as a Muslim. This video is not going to be about the cure for your depression. This video is not going to be about how the Quran and the Sunnah, even though I'm going to be using examples from the Quran and Sunnah to help you live with your depression, this video is not going to be about the cure for depression. I want us to stop thinking in that manner where we think that there is a cure for these things. Sometimes you're just going to have to live with it for the rest of your life. And I know that might suck for you, but Allah has a way of making it easy and making it worth your while. So if you're not interested in this video, I highly suggest you come back tomorrow for a different video. But today's video is about this because that's how I'm feeling right now. And I wanted to convey my thoughts to other people as well too. So inshallah, if this is something that you would benefit from, stick around. I'm sure you will benefit. If you can't uh, have the patience for this, then I suggest that you go away. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase from you, bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow inshallah. So first and foremost, I want you to know that I'm not... I can be talking about like actual clinical depression where there's chemical imbalances in our brain, but I can also be talking about the depression that a person feels from the sadness of things as well too. Either or, right? One comes and goes, right? One is circumstantial, one is situational, depending on things are going right or wrong in your life. So ask yourself right now, if you're feeling a little depressed, right? If you say that you're feeling a little depressed, are you feeling depressed or are you feeling a little bit hurt? You gotta answer that question, I can't, right? Are you depressed or are you just a little bit hurt? Are you hurt because things aren't going your way? Is it because someone has hurt you which has caused you to go in this feeling of hurt which becomes suppressed, becomes anger, then the anger becomes resentment and depression? Or are you, are you just hurt a little bit, right? It's just a matter of how we actually think of our situations and circumstances, right? So. I wanted to give you a practical tip to help you with your sadness. If you're someone out there, I don't want to tell you that, you know, this is going to, it's not about curing it. It's about, well, what if you had to live with it, right? What if you literally had to live with it? Like some people have to live with MS, right? Um, they have to just live with it, you know, and there's nothing, there's no cure for it right now. And you just have to live with it. So what if this is the same thing? What if you just have to live with it? SQ, that sucks. My life is over. SQ, how... Allah wants me to live with depression? Well, if you know the reward for your depression, then you would probably lean into it. You wouldn't run away from it. You would lean into it. And I want to help you lean into your depression rather than running away from it. Okay, first and foremost, we know from an authentic narration that the son of Adam is not pricked with a thorn, right? Like he's not pricked. He's not harmed even in the slightest bit that Allah doesn't use as an opportunity to forgive them of their sins, okay? Depression, sadness, anxiety, things of that nature are not physical pains. They're, they're mental pains, they're emotional pains, they're spiritual pains sometimes, you know? So if you are feeling one of those types of pains, just know that this is Allah's way of forgiving you of your sins, mashallah, right? When you think of your depression, your sadness, your anxiety in that manner, don't you want to embrace it a little bit more? I hope so. Next. When that starts taking place, when that happens, I want you to understand that Remember that nothing happens without the knowledge and permission of Allah. So if you're feeling some type of way right now, ask yourself, what is the meaning that Allah wants me to make from this situation? Right? You can't, look, I'm not going to say that you can't sit over here and cry and mope and whine about all the things that are going wrong in your life. Look, let me tell you something. It's so easy to do that. Wallahi. Well, isn't it easy for your brain to just go down this path and think about all the negative possible situations and circumstances to why things aren't going on right in your life? Think about all the things that are going wrong in your life. How easy is it to think of that? Seriously, right? How easy is it to assume the worst in people and to think of all these negative circumstances and situations in life? It's very, very easy, right? So I want to give you a tool to combat that. 
okay? I wanna give you a tool to help you figure out how to control your thoughts and your tongue and your speech when you're feeling that type of way because it's easy to just let your mind go down this rabbit hole of negativity. It's easy, it's like weeds growing, right? You don't have to plant weeds, they just grow. And our negative thoughts sometimes about ourselves or others are weeds that are growing in our mind. We have to consciously pick them out, okay? Here is something that can help you with your depression. I'm not saying it's going to remove it fully, but it's going to help you with depression. And actually, if you use it enough, it will remove all the harms away from you. Are you ready for this one? I hope you are. Okay. Here is what you can do to help you cope with your depression and make it a little bit easier for you, inshallah. The messengers also narrated to us that the person who sends salawat upon him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses that as an opportunity to not only bless the person who is sending the salawat upon him tenfold, by the way, but Allah also uses that as an opportunity to raise your status in paradise tenfold and forgive you of your sins, ten sins, and give you ten good deeds. Okay, so look at the meaning that you're making of this. Instead of just sitting down, you have nothing to do but letting your mind wander into the abyss of negativity and this rabbit hole of all the things that are going wrong in your life. Instead, take control of your mind. Take control of your tongue by how? Sending salawat on the messenger. Let's send it together right now, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim inna ka hamidu majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim inna ka hamidu majid. Now, a companion came to the messenger sallallahu and said, O oh, messenger of Allah, what if that's all I did? That's all I did. I wanted to only do that. O Messenger of Allah, just send salawat upon you. That's all I want to do with my time. What did the Messenger Sallallahu tell him? What did he say to him? He said, if you were to do that, Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove all your problems. All your problems will go away. So I'm, I'm encouraging you all to remember this, that it's easy to sit down on your sofa. It's easy to just go spaced out and blank out and go down this rabbit hole of thinking about all the things that are going wrong in your life. I'm just here to let you know that's easy to do. But instead, keep your tongue and your mind moist with the conscious remembrance of Allah and His Messenger. Because Allah loves His Messenger. And if we send salawat upon the Messenger, that means Allah loves us too. If we are sending love upon Him who Allah loves, Allah will love us too. Okay? See, there's already a smile on your face, mashallah. There's a smile on my face too. So instead of just sitting down thinking negatively about all your circumstance and situations, instead take control of your life. Make a more positive meaning. The first meaning is that, listen, Allah, if I'm feeling depressed right now, if I'm feeling sad, if I'm feeling some type of emotional pain right now, Allah, you're using this as an opportunity to forgive me of my sins. And the shaitan wants to keep me in the situation so I just feel despair and your mercy and blah, blah, blah. No. The shaitan wants wants you to stay depressed because when you are in that state of depression, listen, I said state, when you're in that state of depression, the shaitan can manipulate you much more easily unless you were in this condition of more faithfulness, right? And more positivity. The shaitan can't manipulate you when you're feeling a state of gratitude. He can't manipulate you when you're sending salawat upon the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So instead, make a more positive meaning of your life, of your circumstance, of your situation. And just know that this hasn't happened without the permission and blessings and approval of Allah. So make the most of it, right? Instead of thinking that you have lemons, make some halal lemonade in Inshallah, love you all for the sake of Allah. I hope this video benefited you. Uh, honestly, man, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not even sure where to go with this. You know, I don't, you know. Uh, people think that depression uh, look everyone has their good days and their bad days you get what I mean and there's good days and there's bad days and just know that you're not alone Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees everything that you're doing and if your brother can help you in some way shape or form I'm trying my best right now honest to God these videos get no views wallahi like these videos get no views at all and that that could be really really upsetting to me like think about it from my perspective right i'm uploading every single day and what's my reward obviously the reward is with the lobby all understand that right but really think from my perspective what's what's it for me right i i have to sit down edit these videos put them up do all these things to it it's not an easy task for what for what 
being where I am right now, still getting that, whether I'm shadow banned, whether I'm not, that, that could be kind of depressing, don't you think? Don't you think? Can't it be kind of depressing to see that circumstance situation, to read a comment from you guys out there saying something negative about me, saying something harsh about me? Don't you think that could be kind of depressing? Well, if that's my circumstances situation, imagine the messenger saw I sent him. Whenever you're in a situation that thinks that your life is the worst, really think about the messenger saw him. This man, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was giving da'wah for years and no one was even accepting his message. Hardly anyone. Imagine those reviews. No one, no one was watching his videos. That could be kind of depressing. And on top of that, those who did watch his videos were leaving the harshest of comments to him. Weren't they? Weren't they saying the harshest things? And they were actually trying to physically attack him. So imagine people like found my IP address to try to come and attack me and you know destroy my house and stuff like that. That's what they were doing to the messenger solace in him. But the interesting thing is that the messenger solace in him never gave up. And this is a reminder to you but also a reminder to me. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Take some time to watch some of my other videos or don't watch them at all. It doesn't matter whether I get 500 views on this or 5 million views on this. I'm not going to stop. Honestly, it's I'm too invested. I'm too deep in this game to stop and think that, oh, you know, I need... Nah, bro. I'm going to keep going no matter what. And uh, for those of you who are with me and uh, who watch my videos, I sincerely, sincerely really, really appreciate you. Uh, it gets really tough. Honest to God, it gets really tough. That's what all these people don't tell you. And my, that might be my next video, you know. Um, you know, uh, social media has led me to depression, perhaps. You know, that might be my next one. Um, but I don't want you to think that my, my days are fantastic. They're not. You know, they're, they're as bad as yours. You know, they're as low or high as yours. You know, we have peaks and valleys in all of our lives and our days. And I'm, I'm no different from you guys, you know. Um, so, so just know that it's, this is, this is me guys. Like I'm not, this isn't, I don't know how to explain it, but I, 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 I deal with the same struggles that you guys deal with and just know that sometimes dealing with struggles together is better than dealing with struggles alone. And if I can support just one of you guys, I guess, isn't that, isn't that the purpose to change one of you? Like, isn't that's the point though, right? This video dragged on a little bit. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And um, until next time, I'm out.